Microsoft Teams Rooms and Android, formerly the collaboration bar, has got a new feature and it's called Personal Mode. Personal Mode allows you to sign into the device as yourself and you can see all of your meetings and join them from the comfort of your personal office or perhaps even your living room or kitchen. They're perfect for people like executives who want to be able to have those long discussion-based meetings without leaning into a laptop or having to mess around with trying to position cameras in different places. Now, these devices are generally a lot smaller. They're very light. They're about the size of a soundbar that you would normally put above or below a TV screen. So very easy to install. And because they basically just need power and a HDMI cable, they're very easy to set up as well. And the sign-in process is very easy as well. It's akin to signing into Netflix on your TV, on a modern TV where you see a code on the screen and then you open up your PC or mobile device, pop the code in and sign in. So let's see whether they live up to the hype. We're going to have a look at the setup process. We're going to see how easy it is to join a meeting and we'll also see what the quality is like as well. What's the video quality like and what's the audio quality like? And then you should be able to make a decision as to whether these are the kind of devices that you would deploy to your users. Right, let's get started. So now we're out of the office, the next thing we need to do is find somewhere to put our MTR. So I'm gonna get started and wire it up. So I've placed this on top of a TV screen and our next part is plugging in. So we've got two cables to plug in, HDMI one and a power cable. We don't need those other connections. We're not gonna have a second screen. We're not gonna have a hub in the middle of the room and we'll connect this over Wi-Fi. So two cables. That's it, that's all we need to plug in. With the MTR and Android booted up, then there's a couple of things that we need to do first. So I've already done one part, which is to go down and join it to a Wi-Fi network. I do need to put in the default admin code here to join it to the Wi-Fi. Uh, and then once I've done that, then I'm gonna be ready to go to sign in. So if I press sign in on the screen here, then it's gonna give me two options. So on the screen here, you will see if I zoom in that I can choose to sign in from another device or I can put in my email or phone. So I'm gonna choose sign in from another device. And this is where I take that code and then I use that for the sign in. So I'm gonna to go to microsoft.com slash device login and then that's gonna give me the screen to enter the code. So let's pop it in and get logged in. So now it's signed in, I've got my core options on the screen and it's all very straightforward. I've got meet now if I need to make an ad hoc call. If I press more, that will get me back to the settings menu and the volume. And then on the right hand side, I've got the list of my meetings. So if I choose join with the remote control here, then that's gonna take me straight in. And once I'm in the meeting, it will default to gallery view. I've got my core normal things like switch on and off the camera. I can see the participant list and add people to the meeting, or I can mute people in the meeting if I want to. And I've got controls around the different views. So I can switch into together mode, for example, if I want to do so. Uh, and of course that will progressively improve the video quality on the screen, as you can see here and then I can switch back to gallery view. Now we've got core things for volume in the meeting itself, and then on the ellipses in the middle, I've got some options that are get, that's gonna allow me to do things like change the background, and these are the personal mode features that make most sense on these kind of devices. So for example, when I want to change my background, I've got background blur available to me, and I've got those core meeting backgrounds that you'll see on the Teams desktop PC, and now the mobile clients as well. And because it's using auto framing, then that makes a lot more sense to use because I can, if I want to, change the framing settings on the remote control so it zooms in more if I just want a headshot, or I can change the background as well to make it look, perhaps if I want to look like I'm in a different environment as well, like you would normally do in a Teams meeting. And that is, that is the core reason for using it in personal mode. So it allows you to, sit and act like you're in a meeting like anybody else. It's not making this like a room system in the home, it's making it like a very, very simple device. So we've joined our meeting, as you can see, normal, good experience, 
Things like auto framing are gonna allow us to walk around the room if we want to. If I press some of these, then it's gonna zoom out and that will then use voice tracking mode, for example, zoom in on me as I'm talking. Again, meeting room focused feature. If you had a couple of people sitting side by side, maybe it would work. Default mode where it can zoom out more. And then of course the normal one that uh, I think you'll usually use with this, which is auto framing mode, where it's gonna zoom in automatically. We can, if we want to go into the settings and if you want to always frame it, so it is perhaps set back two or three meters, but it's always framed around your face, head and shoulders, then you can do so as well. And just keep that as your normal setting. Finally, let's take a look at the audio and video quality. So this is the Yealink A20, but it should be representative of Poly, Logitech, and the other manufacturers of the MTR and Android devices for their lower range devices. So we've got a 4K camera, we've got speakers that are designed to pick up people who are not right in front of the speaker itself. They're designed to go in a huddle room and the microphone itself is within that collab bar unit itself. So let's switch over and take a listen. So this is through the 4K camera on the front of the device and you're hearing me through the microphone array as well. We're about two meters away and it's using that auto framing feature to put me into the meeting rather than putting the whole room around us in it as well. So I'm joining in personal mode and people will see me as really just another participant in that meeting. And here you can see the video quality and listen to the audio as well. So that was the Microsoft Teams room on Android device in personal mode. I hope you've enjoyed the video and got enough information to know whether it's something that you might want to use yourself. Don't forget to subscribe to the Practical 365 YouTube channel for more how-tos, interviews, check out the Practical 365 podcast, of course, and check out practical365.com for more technical guides on how to do everything Microsoft 365.